Welcome back to Puddle Duck Gaming. This is Prey. All right, guys, this is the last and final video of Prey, and we are going to do both, actually. Both scenarios, sort of both scenarios, I guess. We are going to destroy Ta Talos 1, and we are going to kind of save everybody, I guess. But from what you just heard, we do need to get rid of January, so... Sorry, January. Let me take your battery so I'll always remember you. And here we go. What is a Neuromod? Well, it's both an easy answer complicated one at the same time. It is the future, today. More importantly, our past, today. This is the work Transtar does, every employee working together. It's immortality, and it is beautiful. Okay. All right, and if you plan on blowing the place up, come upstairs and poke the button. Warning, reactor detonation. It's finished. All the directives you gave me have been completed, all except one. When the station detonates, it will destroy the Apex Typhon and every trace of technology derived from it, including you, but you know this already. It was your idea after all. The alien neuromods you carry would pose an unacceptable risk to everyone on Earth if you returned. Have a seat, Morgan. You might as well enjoy the view in your final moments. Yeah, I'm going to sit down because I have Typhoon in me, so I'm not going to try to escape. Morgan, are you on your way? I'm not going to make it. What? Everything's fine. I got one of the escape pods working. Are you keep having this dream I do happen to know that no matter how you in the game this happens it's finished how did it do activation of the mirror neurons is promising Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, that nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. It's Look at my hand at the bottom. It. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind. Or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos One. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records, and then, I did not expect this, but it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to. 
but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, he chose to activate the Null Wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? <laughs> yeah, I, I can hear you. I want to show you something. Then don't turn me the wrong way. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. Oh no. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. We're gonna shake things up. Like old times. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, and this is what happens if...